Mm. All right, so man, we don't we don't even know what we're doing. Like, we don't even know the name of this, what this is gonna be. Nope. Um, yeah, we don't know. But just just talking about we'll start. Which one do you want to start talking about? Naked launcher, the G- well, Gamora. I don't know. Does it make more sense to talk about the weird one first or not? Or the second? weird one? Uh, yeah. I just do it in chronological Naked order. Naked first or second? Um, do we, we can do it first. Do I don't care. Mm, or you want to do the second? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I don't know what would make more sense for that. But All right. Well, make lunch. I mean, Gamora. You just, that's fresh in our minds. Yeah. Let me get... I saw that Talk early that. last night in the morning, like two. Yeah, we saw that ended today, it, actually. <laughs> ended it's, it. Uh, yeah, it's still today. Ended it's at like, like two in the morning. morning. Yeah, we, we saw that today. So. Not last night, today. <laughs> and, and, uh, man, I don't know. What do you think about it? Ago. Um, what I think of the movie? Mm-hmm. Well, it was, you know, different. Not exactly what I expected. No, oh, really? What did you expect? I really liked the movie. Uh, Same, I liked it a lot, it was, too. I was expecting it to be more... I, I don't know why, but I thought it would be more like, you know, your typical like, crime movie. I thought it was, though. What, what, what was, was different about it? It was that? made sort of in a different way, especially, you know, you know how, as you, you mentioned this before, um... That uh, it's not really it's it's different stories, right? Right. And um, there's a lot of um, you know, violence is done in a different way where it's you don't really even see it happen. You just see the aftermath. It's weird. You understand? That's true. I didn't think about that. You're right. Now but that I realize, you, you don't, don't really mm. see like them getting shot that much. I Maybe mean, it was like the budget. So they had, they couldn't get any special yeah, effects. Probably. No, Martin Scorsese. He was he was doing the production. Yeah, he, yeah. He, they had they had some big guns behind them so I don't I so, think it was I don't know yeah. it was probably stylistic effect. everything was also very sudden when the violence happened definitely also, very surprising. sudden Man, yeah, you I don't mean, see that often among other mob movies it's built up right yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what it, the description of the movie was talking about like it was talking about how like oh it was brief moments of violence and that's exactly what it is now that I'm thinking I, back I think that's very unique um, yeah just and it's kind of, and it's. It, I remember also when violence happened. It was, not every time, not every scene, but I feel like, uh, it was not every scene, but some definitely some of the scenes with the violence in it. There was, um, man, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, there was. It was like the sound got drowned out, you know. I remember when it came, when it came to Maria. Uh, the the woman that got shot and also. Uh, the little kid's friend. Oh, you mean the rest of... Uh, you only hear is the gunshot? Is that what you're Not even the gunshot. You don't hear the gunshot? Sometimes... I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm... I, I can't remember the extreme. Uh, I, I didn't pay that close attention. I, I don't know. Was, yeah, maybe I'm tweaking. I, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean... Brief spurts of violence... Just throughout the whole movie... And I, definitely at the ending, yeah, it, it was just it was so anticlimactic, you know. Yeah, but I, I think it was. I think the ending was actually pretty decent. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it was good that it was anticlimactic. It yeah. fit with the other, uh, other scenes of violence before, and you know, you know, I, I was just I I liked how also right at the end, it kind of brought it full circle, uh, brought it back to, like. That like what it what uh what it's based on, what the movie's based on, which was, com- the Camorra, right. the mafia, um, um and just know, giving the statistics and facts about yeah, that. That was that was good. You know, it was weird because I thought at the end because you know I saw the the cover of the movie on Criterion. It had the, like the skinnier guy. Right, right. Um, that, that guy's skinny. Man. <laughs> yeah. Um, it had him. skinnier than me and you. Skinny, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> um. It had him, but um, it just had him on the cover. Right. And I thought he was going to survive at the end, and mm-hmm. his friend would die. Because he wasn't really the leader, it was his friend, so I thought that was going to happen. Right. Um, but I, I'm glad they had both of them get killed. All right. And, you know, his friend, that just reminded me at this, when it was at the start of the movie, and those two just got introduced uh-huh. to the film. 
Yeah. And when he was kind of, he was uh, parodying Tony Montana. He was, you know, doing, yeah. doing the doing the lines. They sort of both Scarface. Were, yes. Or was that just the, mostly the leader? It was mostly the leader, the oh. the bigger guy, um, and. I think Scarface definitely has an influence in this film. I think it, He's, I think it's like it's definitely, it reminded me of um you know when the, um, what's it called the Zeppelin or that in Scarface the world is yours, the world is yours. Uh, especially with those two got two the two friends they really had the world is yours type energy you only live once type energy yeah. whereas just just you know let let's rob let's rob the drug dealer you know let's rob the guns. You know, and then just spend it all at the strip club and just, like, then stick up the video arcade. Yeah. Like, it was really, like... Yeah, I think yeah. I think it's much more, when it comes to crime movies, it's much more aligned with Scarface than, like, Goodfellas or something. You know, in right. terms of how it's made. You know? right. I mean, Goodfellas, that's, that's like, dark. That's comedy, you know. Yeah, that's yeah, way yeah. More, It's, like, comedy. Way more, you know, flashy yeah. uh, uh, sort of movie. They're this all is different. More stripped back... More minimal, I guess. Yeah, I, 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 mean, of, I almost like this one better in a way. You know? In Goodfellas? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, Goodfellas I think is about just a, such a class. I have to think about it longer to if right. I really see if it's better or not. When it comes to rewatchability, I feel like Goodfellas. It's more it, it's, uh, like you could just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, Goodfellas, I mean, I'm, that's like that's like the Scorsese film where you could just always like rewatch it again. Yeah, you know? like Raging Bull was like a really good movie, but it was hard, a little hard to rewatch. Yeah, it. I'm not. Yeah, it was like it was same very, with like Parasite, Taxi Parasite Driver, and um, what is what was that one quote? You know, Dad always says where it's like people love Citizen Kane, but they never watch it again. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's like because it's just such a he- more heavier movie. Yeah, uh, the Godfather and, is one that you definitely do watch again. Right, right. right. Goodfellas is one you watch again. Right. So. Pulp Fiction is another one. You Pulp watch Fiction. Again. Yeah, but this one, I just I know the like the cinema like where it was shot too. It was, it was shot like in the, you know the. It was really it the was most the grimy it was in the like real trenches, movie. you know, in the most grimiest. So, like you search up. Um, oh, you you searched up. Scampia, I think is. The, yeah, they t- they were talking about how it was like a that's like the drug market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Search up Scampia looks exactly like the the movie. You know how there's that building that sort of looks yeah. like a triangle. Yeah, right. It's that's what comes up. Um, oh, so that's like the town. That's the town. Yeah, it's it's I th- it says when you look it up, I think it's like a suburb of Naples, but. When you look at a Google Maps of it, it looks like it's a neighborhood of Naples, mm. but um, it's not really in the city side. Mm. Yeah, I mean that, that that was like, yeah. So that's crazy that they shot it on location. Yeah. And it was just I I loved how it was like in the opening shot or one of the first scenes how it how it was where it was going through different alleyways of the a big apartment complex and yeah. then it pans out to the big. Uh, you know the whole uh, the whole building, and it just I don't know. It, so much stuff goes on in that building, right? And then there's so many different things going on. It's pretty populated too. Right, so pop, really populated. I'm just I don't know. It, it just it, to, it it brought to my memory like oh my god, there must be so many different stories going on in that one one little building, right? Yeah. And yeah, so that was. That was crazy, and yeah, so Scampia, that's the town, that's the name of the town? Uh, yeah, um, or town or whatever, or commune, or Because they were saying it was like the biggest drug market? Neighborhood. It, it said, okay, not only did they say that, they said that Comora, or Comora, mm-hmm. um, is the, like, most dangerous Dangerous. criminal organization in the world or something they also said one in three people die yeah and then they said that um, that uh, like you said uh, worst open air drug market or something like that right that's what they said I don't the fact that they're the most dangerous organization I don't know if that's true because I mean Italy's murder rate is definitely not even the highest in Europe at all not even close Mm. it's like right in the middle I think oh really yeah it it's, I mean, yeah, it, uh, I, I have to look do some more research on that, but mm-hmm. I don't think, I mean, it's it's possible that it's true. Um, maybe the wording is just different. Yeah, that could be, I mean, what else, it reminded me as well um, of 
of the movie was, um, what was I going to say? Was that, um, oh yeah, when it, it reminded me, there was that one, what, something that I kept on thinking about was at the start of the movie when they had just stolen the drugs, the two kids. Yeah. And the, like, the, the, the head honcho brought them in and was like, oh, if you, if you get into trouble again, I'm going to kill you or something like that. Oh, was that the, the bearded guy, right? Right, and then the two kids were like, oh, man, oh, he, he's nothing. Like, yeah. if that guy's con- controlling, you know, the area, then we, 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 we're, well, we're, we can control him. Yeah, we can do whatever we want. Um, that that just showed to me, like, oh, and they were all saying, oh, he's so, he's like an ugly, he's so ugly, and how, like, how is he the, that leader, right? right. That just showed to me how, um, it, how do I put this into words? Like, ignorant or what we just like? No, it's just like that the real, the real ones that are really about what they talk about are not, are not flashy. They're not, they're not, all like the, they don't want movies. all the clout or, yeah, they, they don't want all the clout. They're not like bragging about what they're doing and all that. Yeah. Meanwhile, the two kids are really, you know, trying to make a name for themselves by just causing a bunch of trouble. Um, wow. I didn't think of that. That's a good point. So that's, yeah. I don't know. And then, and then how like the people and how the guy, that leader, he's the one who ends up just shooting them and killing them. Yeah. And then it ends with them just taking the dump truck and just dumping them off someplace. Who knows? And it's, and that, that reminds me of the toxic waste as well. Like, what, what was that all about? Like, is that just part of their, like... You mean the quarry, or what? The quarry. Yeah, is that, that just part of how they, wa- like, uh, what's it called? Like, washing the money? So, there or... was, like, the quarry guy and the factory guy are different. Yeah. Yeah, it was the quarry... One of those guys was involved in organized crime, right? Which one was it? Or were they, they both, both were. They, they both, both were. were. Yeah, they both were. Um, what about like the Chinese guys? What did I so that was, so that was basically. See, so the, the Italian guy, I guess he went to work for the Chinese, uh, this Chinese factory, and just like he became, he he just taught them, uh, fashion and tailoring, right? So and I guess, you know, to, like, uh, the Italians didn't like that. I guess. So then they shot him. Huh? Yeah, that's what it seemed like. You know, I I swear when they got when they when he was in the remember when they crashed into the uh, like right yeah, the, damn that was statues. That was I thought that guy was a policeman who shot them. Like he was on. The that's motorcycle. what I was thinking. I was like, well, are they just as policemen? Yeah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> and they now that's what I thought too. I thought they looked like policemen. Yeah. That didn't make sense to me. I mean, I was like, do they just dress up as policemen or? I don't know what it is. <laughs> And it's thunder and lightning. Yeah. It's not raining. It's even worse down south. Oh, really? Yeah, in like Alabama. There was a crash today and like 40 people died. What, what the fuck? Yeah, what the yeah. Fuck? <laughs> okay, it, it, what? Damn, okay. Yeah, I, or not like 40 people, like 10 or 15, though. <laughs> 40 was people. A, I, How did that come I, to I don't like. I, every time I think of a big number, I think 40. 40,000 or 40 million. Oh, I, yeah, I get that. It's like. But, okay. Man, that's damn. I was I didn't I didn't know yeah. about that. Was well, thunderstorm just from thunderstorm? Probably well, it was south, so it could have been like a, a hurricane, hurricane or something like that. Some monsoon? No monsoon. I always get like hurricanes, monsoons, cyclones, tsunamis. Yeah, I don't even know the difference all, between them. I feel like they're all the same. There's probably like scientific differences. Yeah, probably. Like, I don't Who know, knows? I don't know. Man, I mean, speaking of weather and just like the environment, the setting of the movie of the, of Mora, I would just, I mean, there's only one part where nature is really shown, really filmed is when they steal the guns. <laughs> That's a great scene. They're just all just shooting it out into. It looks like they're sh- they're in like the Everglades or something. Yeah, like exactly. Like and they're then, in a big bog or something. And then there are times where it's like very deserty and flat. Like, right. that does not... I don't think Italy looks like that. Maybe. Oh, really? Like, I don't know. Because Italy is actually a lot more green than you would think. Because, you know, we hear about, like, spaghetti westerns. Uh-huh. You know, I, I, I don't... I'm not sure if, you know, 
we we would think that it would be like what just the West and the U.S. But I don't I don't I think it's more green. In Italy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like green and mountains. Yeah, and then some parts. Yeah, it was really flat. I just remember it being really flat, and like when they were out in the water just shooting the guns. There was some like green. I don't know. What, was that just like algae or something? Like I don't know. I mean, Naples is surrounded by mountains. I think. Oh really? I mean, there's mountains near. I mean, I think if you look even on the Criterion cover, you see mountains in the background. Really? You have sweet peas or whatever. He's standing on top of Naples. <laughs> sweet pea. Yeah, you always called him sweet pea. Yeah. Right, sweet he's pea. standing on top of Naples. Yeah. yeah, that's a cool cover. I mean, I found out about the movie the first time. I think I was I was watching one of the closet picks. Uh huh. And who picked it out? Who picked it out? And you remember? No, I think he, he was some Indian director. Oh. And he picked out. Yeah, I just, I, I looked at it and it looked interesting. I did a little bit of research on yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with the description. It's just like, you know, Italy, Italian film about the mafia, crime. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. And, yep. Man, but, you know, who do you think was the main character? Like, well, at first, main characters... Because we didn't watch this in one piece, we stopped right. it. We, right. We only watched like the first thirty minutes, and we watched the next hour forty. Mm-hmm. After the first thirty minutes, I thought it was the two kids, right? And I sort of kept thinking that. And then there was a certain portion in the middle of the movie where we didn't see them for like thirty, forty minutes. Straight. Yeah, they were not there for yeah, a while. And we saw like Chiro, and. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing now because when they're at the diner and the guy. The guy smoked so much with, like, with the throat. It just reminded me of Joey Diaz if he kept on smoking. Oh, you mean that, that guy? Yeah. Oh, my God, that guy was... <laughs> Man, that... Oh, God. He, like, he made J- Joey Diaz look like someone who'd never smoked in his life, yeah. bro. That guy, man, he sounded... So, he his looked throat like Joey was Diaz so gravelly. <laughs> yeah. His throat was really gravelly. Yeah. And, man, I don't know. My kids were so dumb. Like, how did they... They were stupid. They just took that, like, oh, yeah, let me get it, you know? I mean, what'd you expect? Right. Like, probably, I mean, you know... Uh, and I thought they were gonna... They were gonna go and kill him, right? Once they uncovered the, uh, the, the guns that they thought they almost lost. Yeah. But then they got them back. They're like, okay, let's go, let's go shoot. Yeah. So shoot the... I don't know. They had... Yeah, they had some pretty good guns. <laughs> So yeah, they could. yeah, they had a bunch of guns. That was crazy. When they uncovered all the guns and all types of stuff, but yeah, well, what was that? sorry, I went on attention. What was I talking? Oh yeah, who's the main character? Man, I think it's, I think it's, uh, hmm, I think it's, yeah, it's definitely uh, what comes to my oh. mind. It's definitely the the kid and then the two, the two friends. It, yeah, one of the those. kid who well, I actually thought she was a girl for a little bit. Same, yeah. yeah. Or she, she, or like he, he was, thought... a, he was a girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know the guy who played? Oh, I keep getting those the quarry guy and the guy who worked in the factory confused. Right. The but guy who worked in the factory, he looked familiar. His name was Tony Servio, hmm. or maybe he was the quarry guy. But one of them, he was in this other movie, Great Beauty, which is another. Oh, yeah, I you see. know that movie. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. You know, I've seen probably a trailer for it. That's another Italian movie. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think he's a pretty well known director. Or oh, not he was director, a director. Actor, actor. Oh, actor. Maybe he was a director. I don't know. I said actor. But yeah. I mean, he's an actor. He's an actor. Yeah, right. he Is he the one main character in that movie? In Great Beauty, yeah. That's how I knew him. Yeah, I think that's how I recognized him. I, I, yeah, I think Yeah, I think it was uh, Chiro. Maybe. Paolo Sorrentini, that's the name of the oh, guy he's... who directed uh, The Great Beauty. Oh, really? I believe so, yeah. Um, but I have yet to see any of his movies. Is this guy Matteo Garone? He had any other movies or Garone? Who, who was he? he? Matteo Garone. Yeah, who was he in the movie? He yeah. directed the movie. Oh, he directed it. I, I do not know. Any, I don't know. Not that I've heard of. I mean, when it comes, uh, when it, I don't know. I didn't look him up. Uh, I don't think he has any other movies on Criterion. Yeah, I believe. Um, let me see. Let me look it up. Um, and it's been a while since I've been on the Criterion. I I used to just always go on the website. Yeah. Uh, like no, yeah. Um. Yeah, but but that's the the channel. It doesn't have the whole catalog. Go around. Yeah. Type that in. 
Yeah, just on Criterion, yeah. it just, that's the only one he has. Wait, what's that? Is that not by him? No, it's by it's got the great beauty and blade on it. Um, yeah, what what's new on Criterion? Um, yeah, what are the uh, what do they have there? Um, no, someone did a new closet picks. Um. <clears throat> They got like a pride section, pride and protest for for the channel. Oh, uh, yeah. Visions of A. I do not know that one. The world according to Lois. What I don't know. That's a Carol weird. That's a, that was always a weird name to me, Lois. I Lois. Lois. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who he is. Bad spin. Oh, oh, that's the guy who directed the Executioner. I think. Yeah, we never got around to seeing that one. Who is this? I don't know. Let me see the new titles that are coming out this September, though. Um, the Damned by Visconti, Melvin Van Peebles, Love and Basketball, Throwdown. Did you watch Love and Basketball or something? No. no I don't think I've heard of it. Mona Lisa, Beasts of No Nation, Ashes and Diamonds, Original Cast Company. Um, um, Afterlife, La Piscine, the Recover. I don't, I don't know how do these movies. No, nah, are these new either. movies or what? Some of them are new. Some of them are, I think they're revisions of old of other films. See? There's an Andrei Tarkovsky movie that we're mm-hmm, right. Was that a sci-fi film? No, nah, that's Stalker. But I think yeah. Well, um, is is it another sci-fi film? Let me see. I don't know. It looks like a sci-fi film based on the cover. Right. Uh, mm. Yeah, it talks about hallucination. Interesting. He's, we should watch some of his movies. He's right. Director. Right, for sure. They got a lot. Um, um, hmm. Oh, that's it. Never mind. Yeah, so some of these, they've, they're have they just doing revision, cover revisions or maybe adding more special editions like, like Mona Lisa, Ashes and Diamonds... Um. Yeah, pick up on I South see. Street. They've already done. But yeah, let me look up Garon, Garoni, Garone. Um, see what else. He's fifty-two, born in eighteen sixty-eight. <laughs> Let's see. Pinocchio, he did. Pinocchio. Two thousand nineteen. In Dogman, not what you would expect. Like. These movies aren't like Gamora, really. I've never even heard. What are, what are those like? Well, I'm sure Pinocchio is probably right. 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 I don't know what Dogman is. It doesn't. Well, this is actually another crime drama. It looks like it. A former boxer terrorizes in the neighborhood. Yeah, interesting. That one looks good. Yeah. Um. Is that a? No, I thought that was a TV show cover. Tale of Tales. Yeah. Well. It was Sergio Garon. Garone. He must have been his father. Yep. Let me see what movie he's in there. Not anything we know too well. Nope. Nothing really. We know. Actually, is that a bunch crazy? of like, a bunch of like spaghetti, spaghetti westerns, westerns and yeah. some like Nazi film, World War Two movies. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I guess Dogman will have to check out as well. Yeah. But I don't know if the, the library will have that. Yeah. I have to find out. But Wait, is that not on Craig? Oh, that was. That no, was I don't think so. Know, I don't yeah. think so. I mean, let me. Morris, s- yeah, we checked already. Good Morris, Mateo, Garone is only. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I really liked Gamora. I mean, was, yeah. definitely. Definitely worth it. I mean, more than worth it. I, I I liked it a lot. Yeah. I would definitely try to get the 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 cover. The it was similar to Scarface. Blue what do you think was better? Oh, um, hmm. Man, I think Scarface when it came. Scarface is probably more iconic. It's probably but, more rewatchable, I think, for this one. Right, but I think the more is I like it more. I mean, when it came to Scarface, I just had watched way too many clips. Yeah, it's. 
I, I, I already knew that, it was gonna happen. Everyone probably. Would leave I'd it. watched way too many like like m- clips of it, you know, on YouTube. For, like, it's, clock was on, right? right. Same with that. Where I just it, it wasn't the, as good. Right. It wasn't as good. You know. Yes. Yeah, it's, you um, know. Uh, it's gonna happen at the end. What? You know what's gonna happen, of course. At the end. Did he, did he, I don't even remember. He died, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, he, he, I think so. I think. Oh, yeah, he did. He got shot in the back by the... Oh, yeah, right after that scene. Yeah. He was doing so good. And so yeah. He was doing so good until... Yeah. He was doing so good and, like, shooting all those people. All those Colombians, like they said in the movie. Really? More, they were like, you gotta get those Colombians. Oh, because I think the Colombians... They were... He was... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I assume Colombia. You know, they're known for cocaine, so yeah. maybe they they were the plug or something. But yeah, yeah. I mean, damn. You know, wait. Did we ever? Did the kid? When once the kid he did his part with that one shooting of that woman. Remember? Oh yeah. Did Did he ever come back to the film? Have you ever seen him again? Maybe? Yeah. Actually, kind of makes sense if we didn't. Right. But I can't remember anything I've ever seen. Yeah. Right, and you know, reminds. I also remember um, him and his friend where they join rival gangs, and they join different ones. Right. Right, and they just have they just have to split up and just they just have to split up and part ways. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that was a touching part of the film. One of the, one of the, uh, one of the scenes I remember. One of the parts I remember more vividly. Um, but yeah, yeah. So you want to go on? Want review? You want to review Naked Lunch now? You want to talk about that one? Yeah, that movie was. Well, Man, was a where do I? Statement. Where do I start? I mean, what do you uh, think? You think it was more? Weird than Eraserhead or what? Or oh, Eraserhead. House. They're all different. I think they're weird. You know, they're actually they're all, all really different. They're all so odd. It's um, such in a different way. There's every weird movie is weird in some way. You might like look at. You might when you think of weird. All right, you know, there's the only way to do weirdness, but really there is. Well, it comes to weirdness, like. What is the definition of weird or being yeah, odd? Something that's weird. not like anything else, right? Right. So like when someone says an odd movie, it's usually. It's usually odd because yeah, I mean, it's unique. Like, it's one of a kind. Like, Come and See is a weird film, right? You could say. Come and it's, See. It's a unique film, right? All right. It's different. What's unique? I don't, I don't know much about it. It's not like any other war film. You know? Oh, really? It doesn't glor. It's so, like, brutal, yet still very anti-war, and it doesn't glorify it. I actually really don't know a whole lot about the movie. I haven't really seen any clips. That's another one we got to watch. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... When it comes to Naked Lunch and how odd it is, I mean, when it go, well, the book, like, which one, did you think the book was more odd or the movie? Um, I mean, which one was better, too? Well, I, I think they were both good, but I'm going to say the book was both better and more weird, mm-hmm. just because, I mean, it's, in a book, you can be more descriptive, like, every, like, there was so much weirdness in the book that they could not have put into the movie otherwise it would have been given like an NC-17 rating or something right yeah yes definitely I mean the book was from what I remember there was just some parts that yeah <laughs> like that one you showed me that uh, recently page 30 page like 30 movie, about where he sees all the like like the schizophrenia and all uh, that oh movie. really no I think it was Girl. about how <laughs> Oh yes. Could get a get a. You could you get get, get get yourself a piece of ass? And he really went and just chopped off a piece of ass. And I love how I don't know if he saw this detail, but he was reading comic books when his father went to see him. <laughs> what? Oh my Maybe god! It means that he's like less. He doesn't understand that, so he actually. <laughs> I'm reading comic books. What? Fifteen-year-old um, reading comic. Yeah, and Maybe then... that's because and that's why. He, I actually took a piece of ass. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, I actually knew that was gonna happen. Really? Yeah. I, saw that I had a in, yeah. I could see definitely see that coming. Yeah. And then what other moments of the book like, just like the, 
there was just the way it was written it was like it had such a like a dirty feeling to it you know yeah like a grimy feeling to it like when i was reading it same with the other beat writers like kerouac yeah i didn't read i haven't read that yet yet. it's not like so, so much of a dirty feeling it's more like a dusty rustic feeling uh, and uh, like it's not a real book, book is that no no saying? no just like the 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 style like mm-hmm. yeah. um it just like like you know colors come to my mind of like browns and burnt you know yellows yeah. oranges I have to go back and, read a little bit and navy, navy dark it, royal blues i don't know why I but read, like, i mean i i can't really know what you're talking about <laughs> until i read another book that's not right. like it because I'm sure I I, that's had just that me that came to, that's it's possible that I had I'm, I'm sure I possibly had some of that too I definitely had a feeling that was different so maybe it wasn't the same as you but I have to read another book a normal book and see yeah same with Ginsburg too I think it's just yeah it's just the style and what they're talk what they're writing about such like random stuff really I feel yeah. like um and there's definitely a bit of nostalgia to it since yeah. it was written you know, in the early 60s, late 50s. Yeah, 1959 is when it came out. Really, like, it doesn't, when I heard that, like, if it, when you think of, like, a book that's all about, like, uh, hallucinations and a drug addict, it's really weird. You wouldn't think it was from 1959, you'd think it's from 1989, right? Definitely. You know, I... Definitely way before it's time. Yeah. Way, way before it's time. That was not the... If, if you hear about the beat generation or whatever... I guess the genre or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't sound like something you'd find in nineteen fifties. Uh, right. It's the way everything about that. Right. I'm eighties, seventies, sixties. Yes. Yeah. Not the fifties. I mean, it was basically the sixties. So. Yeah. Well. But I mean, it was just so. I believe. I believe it was just so different for its time, right? It almost got banned. It, it was like nothing like it had ever come back. Come and it like influenced so, so many why things. Why almost got banned though? Why? For language. Language. Yes. This is so in Boston. It oh. Almost got banned for language. That's crazy that like he just, went. Yeah, he went. Clockwork Orange almost got banned, but the, you don't want to know why. Like, how why? It got banned for language. Well, I mean, what else would it get banned for? I guess, right? It's just. It's like rape. Oh, right. Oh, I mean, the language of it, right? Oh, maybe you're right. I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like they meant like, like oh, like, like curse, talking. like oh, like swear words, <laughs> swear words. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, that's what comes to mind too. But I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I don't know what it was like even back then. Like how many books were getting banned, or maybe, yeah. uh, but I don't know. I guess it was different back then. But um, but yeah, we haven't even talked about the movie itself i mean what was different like because the, the, the book and movies both fresh in your mind like so tell me what's different what was different about well, it what was different it was like there were tons of characters that were in the book mm-hmm. some somewhat reoccurring that you did not see at all in the movie oh really like aj uh there was another guy oh wait there was a different doctor not dr benway someone else there was Joseph Vito, I think I remember him. Mm-hmm. A bunch of people. Hassan. I, I I don't know anything about these people, by the way. They're all. Right. I feel weird saying their names. Like they deserve me, for me to say that. They're just so non. They're not even characters. I don't know. What they they're are. just uh. What do they call it? Role? No. Uh, they're not anything. They're just. They they're just mentioned once, maybe, and then. They're mentioned a bunch of times, but it's so like random and everything that like. When I say that, oh, if this guy's a character, AJ's, yeah, he was that, that character. He's a character, right? I feel weird saying that because it's like, like, you don't even know anything, like, about them. It's just, like, they're just... just so they weird. have no backstory, right? Yeah, and they're so weird. I mean, <laughs> their backstory, I don't know if I want to know about their backstory. How <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of references. Well, this is my last one were from the about the book before we move on to the movie but mm-hmm. there's a lot of references to like different parts of the world like oh here's a disease that is common in like southeast asia actually like, <laughs> remember there was a disease where it's <laughs> a really really weird disease where a man worries that his own penis is going to kill him what <laughs> yes 
That's that was in the book. I do not. How do Dang I? How do, how do I not remember that? That is. Funny. That is. That is funny. I I don't remember that. But that man, how do I not remember that? And it's just like a side note. It just he's writing and yeah. then oh, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah but and you also mentioned that. Um, you know, men they can't have an erection if, because then some because I guess that that's bad. It makes it worse or something. Oh really? So I think it's called bang utak. Bang utak. Okay. <laughs> I learned uh, something. Manila new. is a very common occurrence. It's the most common place for Manila in the Philippines, the capital of the Philippines. Oh really? Yeah. How do you remember that from the book? I I remember some parts, not others. Yeah, I mean, most of it's a blur to me, except. Except um, the the one we the piece of ass part. You and, remember that? Man. And like, like the teen, like teenagers, like falling out of a window oh, naked yeah. or something. <laughs> that one, I that oh, yeah. one's so there was vivid. That, like two pages in the book where it's just a bunch of different like yeah a, uh, episodes of just teen boys just making each other. Yeah, it was, <laughs> like it was just the way it was written too. It was the it was the <laughs> it was just it was the most uh definitely just the way it was written it was the most visceral um how do i put this um uh, just the most yeah the most visceral uh most vivid like paint, the picture that i painted that was like so um I painted such a vivid picture in my mind that yeah. was so like, uh, like grotesque, thing. that I've ever read in a book. Thank it was probably the, it was probably the craziest passage I've ever read in the book for sure. Parts. There yeah, was definitely. Also the part, page thirty, about um, I, I, it's where he sees like a bunch of guys just ejaculating and everything. <laughs> and, like, that's like the same. That's what I'm eating, thinking. Like a guy shits on a plate and then eats it yeah that exactly <laughs> like that that's what i'm talking about really? oh. yeah that parts part that those parts of the book that are just so wild yeah it's yeah that so that's the wildest those passages are the wildest i've ever read and then when you talk about the movie and the weird parts no there's no weird parts that actually come from the book like the bug no. that's all made up right right then the guy that oh and then the part was like remember when the, they were in the cage which, what cage? Remember when Bill takes the pills and he's supposed to see the mug lump, but instead he sees those two guys in the cage. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, that was definitely the oddest part of the movie. Oh my oh, God! Man, that, that's... Oh my God! Oh my God, <laughs> dude! I am just thinking about that in my head right yes. now. That is, oh, God. God, what the, bro? That was so. That would, yeah, that was, what? There are two types of weird. There's disturbing weird, and then there's hilarious weird. That was probably more in the former category. Yeah, I, I don't even know what type of this. That was just disturbing. I mean, it was sort of, it was, I guess it was a little funny. I was laughing. <laughs> it was so disturbing, I was laughing. When I, when that came on, my, 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 my mouth just dropped. I was like, I was just gaping. Yeah. I was like, what the, I what? I thought it was going to be like a mug one. Right. But instead, I just I saw those two. He left those two guys. In right. The same right. Room. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so random. Yeah. But, there was some other parts where my, where my jaw just dropped. Yeah, I can't remember. Where I think it was. Um, where he kills the bug with a shoe. That's just funny. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was. Maybe it was when he was at the factory and everybody was just sucking on oh, the mugwumps yeah. or whatever whatever type of thing that was i forget yeah. what type and of the mugwumps were like talking to them yeah yeah the mugwump how when did, how did he come up with that like how how did cronenberg and or, i guess cronenberg too how, how did they come up with something like how did they make it look like that that that's like um, it's, just, so, it's so like much, a meat can canyon yeah, effect. Like, like how how like, do you come up with with that? Yeah, it's like, like how do you think of that in your mind? I know. I, it, it's just, it's just, it's I mean, William he eat. was. It's, it's just, he, they eat he, sweets. He was probably tripping on a bunch of acid or some shit and just thought it, like that's the only way you could think of stuff like that, you know? Yeah. 
like you can't be like in a you might think you can think of it. in a leveled state yeah. and I'm sure think of there's a little bit of that with Lee Canyon with uh, Hunter <laughs> Hancock definitely like with just the characters he makes yeah like like where, how do you how do you like where, where where does that where do they come from you know but um right so yeah the mugwumps the ty- I mean the typewriter <laughs> that turns into a bug like what what <laughs> the talking asshole bug what <laughs> exactly like wh- how did how do you come well, up with that after that he sees his wife and she wants him to it onto yeah, oh my god. Oh, oh, that was so gross. What the, oh my god. Yeah. Like, until that point, I actually thought that Bill was somewhat normal. <laughs> <laughs> Same, yeah. Like, his wife was crazy, but during the, like, when it gets later on, He's, he becomes the crazy yeah. one doing, like, man. Um, and, then he, and then he, oh, then from the book. This is a part that came from the book. He was like, did you hear about the guy who taught his asshole to talk? Yeah, what? <laughs> I remember that too. That oh my so god. Funny. That was like. The <laughs> that was. So yeah, that was crazy. Dr. Ben really? Yeah, in the book it was. He was talking to some guy because the guy was like, why don't we just have, like, get rid of the mouth and have this fall into the lungs? What? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And, uh,. Dr. Benway, uh, the Honorable Dr. Benway. <laughs> Played by Roy Schneider in the yeah. film. He, uh, he talked about that story. Oh, yeah. And then there was the guy who played Bilbo Baggins. He was in the movie. Um, How's it going? All right. Well, then, that'll, that'll wrap up our first episode. Uh, of reviewing Gamora and Naked Lunch. Uh, See you in the next one.